Hey everyone, this is Charlie Man Dan here. Hope you had a good Thursday. The markets were on fire. Dow is up 700 points in two days, which is insane. But GoPro is not following suit. This is the daily chart. Looked at it a couple days ago. I pointed out that on the 23rd, we have the insider shares become unrestricted and can hit the markets. A lot of people are anticipating that insiders are going to take some profits and drive the price down further because these new shares will be freely trading. Uh, you can see today. It had a nice gap open and a lot of times you see the gap and trap play where it gaps open and then pulls back and that's exactly what happened. Pulled back all day, bears were in control on high volume, increased volume. It's not a good sign. Um, you did see, start to see a bounce here with a couple higher low, higher high days in a row but today absolutely squashed that with the bearish engulfing candle. Um, GoPro is really not looking good in to put it bluntly, I wouldn't be looking at GoPro for a bounce until sometime in the new year, but I am keeping an eye on it because it is a hot name. It should, in terms of fundamentals, the company should sell a lot of cameras this season, and you know it, it's certainly going to survive as a stock. It's just a, fi a question of finding the bottom, finding the point in time when the selling dries up and the buying starts to outweigh it. So uh, we'll be keeping my eye on GoPro for the next few weeks, and I will be sure to yell from the mountaintops once we start to see a reversal forming. So uh, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe and send me any questions or requests you have, I would appreciate it. And I hope you have a good Thursday.